Hey everyone, thank you so much for 2k subs. It really, really means a lot. Thank you so much for this, guys. It, I really, really appreciate it. But I thought maybe it would be a good idea for 2k subs to review it or like roast my own accounts because I think you guys might like it. And since I do talk about characters, I thought it would be a good idea to do so. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. But remember to sub and like if you enjoyed. It would really mean a lot if we could reach 3k subs, maybe. Or maybe if we're being a little bit ambitious. Maybe 10k subs for our face reveal, who knows. But yeah, let's get started, guys. So, starting off with Alhatham. He's the most recent character that I got. I really, really like using him. He's honestly my favorite Subaru character that has came out so far. Uh, pretty decent ratio, 80 to 200, I'd say, with 130 ER. I've managed to get his weapon, luckily. Before then, I did share Mist Splitter with Ayatol. I decided to go for Gilded, because I think that is his best slot set. Because I do use Nahida with... Uh, deep one because I feel like that's a overall bigger increase in damage to Al Haytham's personal damage and other Bloom teams as well. He's C0 and Triple Crown because I absolutely love using this guy. He is probably the most fun Dendro character that I've ever played with. Now, next is Yelan. I've managed to get her very, very recently. I didn't really have much time to build her as you can see by her um, her 120 crit damage. I mean, her 80 and her 80 crit rate is pretty good. I managed to get two LHEs from the uh, Incidents. I could also use Favbo if I really, really wanted to. Now, this is where I like it shows that I haven't really had enough time to actually farm her because I, I don't even have a complete emblem set on her just yet, which is what I'm trying to go for. Still don't have a good HP stance. She's C0 and she's 288. I, it's just really, really hard for me to farm new characters on the go, as you might think. Now, Nahida. Um, she has over a thousand EM, which is honestly what I only want for her. And it was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, the crit ratio isn't really anything too special, but and that doesn't really matter because the EM stats really help out with that. I'm using Sack Frags because that's really the only high EM weapon that I really have right now. And as I said before, I'm using a Deepwood set because every Dendro team that I use, I feel like having Deepwood is more than enough to help the overall the increase damage. And if I use Gilded, I feel like that would be just too much EM, honestly. And since I've already managed to reach a thousand, I thought, hey, why not go? go uh deep wood no kooky ever since the dendro was ever since dendro was released i decided to go build kooky and oh my god she's been such a big help for a lot of the hyper bloom teams absolutely for sure iron sting i uh, mainly use for the em stats i could use the umbrella but i decided to use the umbrella on kazu because it just matches him more i would go for the either four pieces i'm trying to go for four piece gilded because that's just more resin efficient it's just i haven't really been lucky with that domain just yet but, so I decided to go for the two-piece split. She's C3, and I only leveled up her skill because th that's really the only useful thing in her kit for me. Or for what I'm trying to go for because she she heals with her skill and not her burst. Now, next up is Zhongli. Uh, he's my first ever limited 5-star. Nice crit rate, by the way. Um, as you might tell, I like using him as a hybrid build for shielding and support and sub DPS. I could use Homa if I really, really wanted to but I just decide Fav is really nice to help out the team. I have a two-piece split between Tenacity and Noblesse because that is just my preferred set. And I just find having a shielding Zhongli, like focus on shielding, is uh, a lot, is a little more on the boring side for me. So I just like seeing him do big meteor damage. And I thought maybe Tenacity over Archaic Petra would just be a little, lean, help lean into a little bit of both. Now Kazu, I haven't, I didn't have him the last time I reviewed or roasted my own account. So, I just stacked as much EM as I possibly could. I didn't build any ER because I just really haven't had that many issues building energy. Or, I mean, not building energy, but funneling energy to have his burst on cooldown. But, and I absolutely like having uh, hit full EM on him all the time just to maximize his damage and his, and his uh, buff. Just to help out the party a lot more. So I just decided to stack full EM and get some crit substats. I managed to get C1. I'm definitely planning to get C2 very, very soon. When his uh, when his eventual rerun comes around, because C2 is just broken, and he is by far the most fun support I've ever had, which is why I invested so much into his talents for sure. And as a like, completely different set from him to Sucrose, um, he is just like by far my favorite support, and I think he is arguably the most fun support to play. But that's just subjective. Now Xiao, he's my main. I have farmed everything I could for him. I tried to get a good crit ratio for him. 75 to 240 
crit ratio basically, and a 130 energy recharge. Staff of Homa, I managed to get. So I don't think anything has really changed for Xiao. I did level up Dragon's Bane just to mess with an EM meme build for Xiao. Uh, the artifacts are, I believe, are still the same. Nothing too special, other than the Animal Goblet, which is actually pretty decent now. Has a round 30 crit value, C1, and Triple Crown, as you guys might expect from a Xiao main like myself. But yeah, it took me a long, long time to actually farm that <laughs> Animal Goblet. It was such a pain in the ass to farm, guys. It, it was- it, I cannot exaggerate. Only the attack is a little lower than what I expected, because this type of home up passive isn't up. Now, Sino, he is sharing an EM Sands with El Haytham, because I haven't exactly been able to actually farm the Gilded set, or enough to actually get two decent EM Sands just so far. He's at 70 to 230 crit ratio with 130... Uh, energy recharge. I feel like that's just enough if you're running Electro Resonance, and it j I'm able to get his burst on cooldown. I managed to get his weapon through the incidents. I could use Deathmatch or Dragon's Bane if I just so wished. He's also on 4-piece Gilded, similar to all Haytham. Sorry, that's just my alarm going off. <clears throat> He's also on 4-piece Gilded, sorry. I don't know if you guys heard that alarm. He's C0 and Double Crown. I didn't bother leveling up his normal attacks because it's just whatever. It doesn't really do anything for his rotations. Um, I do like using him a lot. He's very surprisingly self-sustainable, like getting his uh, burst on cooldown. Especially with Electro Resonance, it really helps a lot. Now, Ayato, I don't think he really changed from the last time I did my review. He has Mist Splitter. Uh, I maybe the crit ratio is different, give or take, with 70 to 230. Uh, I'm, if, as you guys might tell, like, the common thing that I have for most of my characters is having at least, like, 70 crit rate, which I feel like is the sweet spot. Now, I could rotate between Black Sword, the Kazuha Sword, and Mist Splitter, uh, but I just decided to go Mist Splitter because I just love using Ayato and I want to, him to have the best. Uh, the, I could upgrade the Glad Artifacts as I go, but I just haven't been lucky enough to actually get anything. Oh yeah, I did get a good Hydro Goblet for the Gilded set, surprisingly. Which, yeah, I'm very, very satisfied with. He's still C0. And 2-8, or 2108, sorry. Um, yeah, I haven't really changed anything else from his artifacts, rather. Or his talents. I haven't really changed, messed up with his build. Now, Yoimiya, best girl. Uh, pretty much the same as well from when I last reviewed the account. You're gonna hear that a lot, by the way. Uh, same crit ratio as before, I, I give or take like maybe a few substats or not. Uh, Rust, I could use ammo spell, but I just think Rust, R5 Rust is just way better, and it just gets better results. Shimanawa's 4 piece, I feel like is just way better than Crimson for her, because she can actually use the full set to its potential, and plus you're not really using her burst anyways too often. And either way, I do get my burst on after her rotation ends, after using her skill, which does help take advantage of her subpar passive with her burst, which it, it's not really too impactful. Now Eula, oh boy. Um, so I do end up switching her to Serpent Spine instead of um, the Snowtuned, because that is by far her best 4-star weapon, and I'm just so sick and tired of her burst not critting. I don't use her as often anymore, um, be mainly because it's just physical, I just kind of get grown and tired of using it, and I just get frustrated with using her burst sometimes, because sometimes it just doesn't crit. And as you might have told, um, well, I'm on 4-piece Pale Flame, well, you don't see any energy recharge stats here. And what I do to do that, to fix that, is I use Raiden, Rosaria, and Diona with Sackbo just to help funnel energy into her, so I don't have to worry about energy recharge all too much, because god forbid that I actually get an actual energy recharge substat on her. And speaking of energy recharge substats on her, Raiden, um, a lot of ER. Surprisingly, uh, decent ratio with 59, plus 12 from the catch, and 150 crit damage, I feel like that's pretty solid, right? I could use Homa if I really, really wanted to, but no, I just decided catch is just fitting, very, very fitting on her. Um, four-piece emblem, I used to have five-piece on her, but I decided to switch the circlet because the circlet is, um, probably the worst out of all the pieces, so I just decided to maybe go for something better. Um, her burst is the only thing that's really crowned. I don't think I really changed anything else other than actually crowning her burst, I think. I don't exactly remember. I'm pretty sure she's very, very similar. Now, Benny, on the other hand, I he has gone through, like, a few changes, kind of. I still use him on Fav, but I have tried him on Aquila every now and then with a Raiden team, because Raiden is just broken, just being able to funnel in energy for Benny on cooldown. 
So whenever I do run him in a Raiden team, I just make sure to try and put Aquila. More often than not, I feel like the high base attack is just kind of overkill, and I, I, I've found it a lot more comfortable to use Fav on him. He's on Noblesse as always. I like using him as a sub DPS build instead of a healer. And I did end up getting his C6, but I'm not really going to activate it in case I do decide to use Benny with Eula or any other characters that do have their infusion overridden by C6 Benny. And I did actually end up crowning his burst for like, after like the longest time, because I do remember him doing it recently. And Venzi. Okay, here's a funny story about Venzi. And I didn't mean to pull over him, as you can tell by how much I've invested into him, because I have two LGs, an R3 stringless. Um, there's really nothing too special. I'm I I pulled him as kind of a joke instead. Um, Ito. Uh, he's also sharing Serpent Swine with Eula, and I like using this guy, but he is also kind of a bit of a pain to build because I just have to invest so much into him. And I don't exactly have Albedo, so having using him without Albedo or any Geo batteries is just very, very painful, especially when you don't have any ER. So I just don't use him as much, but when I do get Albedo, or hopefully when I do, I will obviously try to use Ito a lot more, or try to uh, use him with Ito, rather. Now, Wanderer. Wanderer is a... <laughs> I have very strong feelings about Wanderer. I know I, if you've been on my streams, you have probably heard that... I kind of shit on him, or I make a lot of jokes saying that he's not that good, but in reality, I do think he's fine. I think he's okay at everything he does. He is pretty flexible. The main thing that he has over Xiao is just personally for me, I feel like if I'm gonna like a character, I'd, I want them to do it well, and I feel like Wanderer just does it okay-ish instead of like exceptionally well. Like, I don't think he's too special, but he's okay, which I, I which is what the main reason why I still think Xiao is way better, because he can get way better results even when he's using teams that are just not like the best for his options, because I do think he's like somewhat flexible, but Wanderer is okay, especially even as a VV enabler, which you're, at that point you might as well just use Sucrose instead. Now Jean, um, I like using Jean a lot, I feel like she's very very underutilized. I do use Aquila on her, she mainly for like the high base attack, and the extra attack substats that she gets from the base, from not the base, the passive, sorry. I also use her as a VV Shredder because I think that's probably like the best set on her. Um, Animo sub DPS, obviously. Her damage is actually pretty nice. I managed to get her C1 very, very recently after losing 50 50. Uh, after getting all Haytham, which got me a guaranteed for Yelan, surprisingly. Uh, 147, uh, nothing. I haven't really invested too much into her, but I really, really do like using her. I definitely think you guys should give Gina a go. She is very, very fun. Now Miko, she is saving or she's sharing sharing with Sith with Wanderer. And I'm not gonna lie, before Dendro, I kind of wasn't too sure if I regretted getting Miko or not. But after Dendro, I don't regret getting her at all, because she's actually been proven to be really, really good, especially with her EM scaling. Um I'm trying to go for a four-piece gilded, but again, that set is just not really being too nice to me, unfortunately. So I'm just sticking with what I have, like a 2p split between attack and EM. Uh, 6 0 and 6 8 8. Nothing really too special, if I had to say so myself. D Luke, oh man. Uh, I managed just to lose like 50 50, like, or three times to him? Not four times, because I remember once I got him on standard, I'm pretty sure. I'd say his stats are, are okay. I also use Serpent Spawn on him, but I haven't really invested too much into him to, like, be noteworthy, honestly. Yunjin, I've built her a little bit, but not enough to actually consider much. I I'd like to use her, but I just need to invest more, because I do have Ayato and Yoimio, both characters that like to use her. Farazan, oh my god, the C6 incident, I got very, very lucky with her. I ended up giving her Elegy. I could use Fav if I really wanted to, but I just feel like Elegy is kind of nice. Uh, it doesn't hurt to switch between the two, but... I just stack as much ER as I possibly can, because energy on her is just a huge pain to deal with. Now, C6, I was very, very lucky enough, or very fortunate enough to actually get C6, and get, um, sorry, I hit my headphones. I managed to hit, get, uh, C6, because I was going for Wanderer and Ito, all in the same phase of the banner. And I managed to snipe C6, which I'll definitely take because I'm a Xiao main, and she fixes literally every problem for herself and Xiao, which is perfect for a Xiao main like myself. Fischl, I've started using her a lot more, especially after getting her C6. 
And I use this Alley Hunter or a String List, depending on which build I go, Aggravate or just like sub DPS Fischl in a non-aggravate team. So I use Ellie Hunter or S String List respectively. I haven't really managed to get a good set on her. So Wanderers and Attack Split is what I try to do. C6, oh my god, it's just been so nice to use. Just for like, uh, quick in teams, Overload or over vape, whatever you call it, Taser as well. She's just been so, so useful. I love using Fischl. By far one of my favorite four stars to use, especially after getting their C6. Uh, Xing Chou. Um, yeah, a very, very reliable character, especially with C6. I mean, he's obviously very good, even without C0. If I want to run him as a sub-DPS, or I could just use Misplitter, but I just think stacks are just very, very comfortable to use, for sure. A standard sub-DPS build with 4-piece emblem. C6 obviously is really, really good. Helps with energy even more. And 1, 9, 11. Uh, I think that's the same as it was before when I last used him. Now Shang Ling. Oh my god, I think my Shang Ling is not that great with like the low attack. And uh, I don't know. I feel like I could do more for Shang Ling. It's just I don't use her enough to actually warrant building her more. Um... I could switch between an ER and attack Goblet, or not Goblet Sands, if I really wanted to, depending on like what team I'm using. Uh, ER if I'm not running e Raiden and attack, or attack if I'm running Raiden and ER if I'm not. Um, C6 and 5, I don't know why I leveled up her normal attacks to 5, 5, 8, 9, I don't know why, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sub and like if you haven't, it would really mean a lot if we could reach 2k or- no, never mind, sorry, 3k subs this time. I'm still blown away that we've reached 2k, honestly. Um, maybe if we're a little bit ambitious, we can get 10k, possibly, if you guys really want that face reveal, because I did promise that. But anyways, have a good night and day, wherever you're at. Uh, I hope this video was useful, or you guys really enjoyed. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Peace and take care. See you later.